Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about scratch pads. Now, scratch pads are not a window manager specific uh, thing. Like they exist in i3, they exist in DWM. There's a program that is window manager agnostic, agnostic called, um, oh hell, I don't remember what it's called, like TFLOP or something. I don't know. I'll put the link to that in the description below so you know exactly what I'm talking about because uh, I can't remember the name. Uh, but when I so first saw the term, I never didn't know what the hell it was. Uh, I've been using i3 for months and months and months, almost a year. And I had no idea what a scratch pad was. I never used an i3. I mean, it was just, wasn't something, I mean, I'd even come across. So, uh, when I first started doing my research on, uh, DWM, I came across the term scratch pad. I was like, what the hell is a scratch pad? I mean, I'm assuming that it's analogous to something like in the real world scratch pad, like something that you can doodle on or whatever. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> the burp totally made me lose my train of thought. That was gross. Anyways. <laughs> um, so I was like, you know, what's, what's a scratch pad? And, so I did a little bit of research and I realized that it's a uh, it's a, a terminal basically, but a terminal that kind of exists on a, a workspace that doesn't exist. Uh, it, it's a, or an invisible workspace, if you will. So, um, if you want to learn what a D scratch pad is, and you're using DWM, there is a patch for it. So, first I will show you what the patch is, and I will. Uh, do that on the main screen here uh, and switch over to it so that you can actually see it and zoom in so you can actually see. okay so the patch that I use to do this is DWM scratch pads 2020 this I'll, I'll show you in the browser as well actually I can do that um, let's see here DWM and patches and scratch pads. Okay, it was uh, this one, I think. Yep, this one here. Um, and I'll put, again, I'll put a, a link to the, the description in the description to this patch as well. So the question you have to ask is what is a scratch pad and why is it useful? And I'll, I will put this right up front. Scratch pads have to be the most awesome things I've ever discovered because, and I'm uh, and I'm so disgruntled that I didn't, you know, know of these before. So a, a scratch pad, like I said, is a terminal that exists on an invisible workspace. So w once you have this patch installed, you get three scratch pads. I'm not sure if you can create more. I'm sh maybe you can. Probably you can. Um, but I've not tried that. So don't quote me on it. But what you can do is do mod Y and you get a scratch pad. Now this is just something I have open in this particular scratch pad. Normally it looks just like a regular terminal. This is the ST terminal. So you do have to have ST installed if you're using DWM. If you're using the generic scratch pad application I'm listing below, you can use any terminal that's supported by that application. Uh, you can use Termite, you can use Alacrity, uh, you can use ST. I'm assuming you can probably use, use things like a Kitty or Xterm. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is what a scratch pad looks like. It's just a terminal. And it exists on a, like I said, a workspace that doesn't exist. So if I were to open up something in this, if I just do an ls of my home directory, and I close this using mod y again, when I open it up, that's still there. And the reason why I think this is so damn cool is because I can go through and do this. I use NC Spot for Spotify. I can turn open up the NC spot and this is here all the time so I can just you know, you know play a song get rid of this the song keeps playing and I want to put you know change to another song or change playlist I just go into you know why again and I'm there and you know why again it goes away that is amazing and no longer usually I would go through and have it on like a workspace 5 uh, like Usually workspace five on the main monitor is my music workspace. Now my uh, workspace doesn't have to be taken up with NC spot because it exists in a terminal. 
you know, in, in a scratch pad. That is amazing. Um, so let me show you what the code of a scratch pad looks like. So let's, um, let's CD into my config.h or them into my config.h here. And let's just scroll down just a little bit. So the first thing when you do a patch, it adds these, like, what, what are this, seven lines or so? I guess it adds the, uh, the structure here as well. Um, but basically what this does is it is it defines three scratch pads. Um, and it these are the things that it will tell you to do. It spawns the ST terminal with the flag N, which basically just gives it a name. Uh, and dash G, which gives it a size. And then it, the last argument can either be null or it can give you another, you can do another flag and run a specific program. So if I do mod U, that opens up the Ranger uh, file manager. And you can do pretty much any terminal application you want by just, just by following this uh, syntax. You know, get size and then the E and then the name of the program and then it always ends in null. And you can change the size of the terminal as well just by using, you know, uh, you know, length by width, and that's the that's the definition of the three. Th those are the variables of the three scratch pads, and then it, uh, it names them sp something specific. And these are the something sp specific. It translates these them into a command, which then can be used in a key binding. So it takes the name from up here, puts it here, and then names it this specific command. Okay, so I'm, I guess, I'm assuming you can go through and, and make as many scratch pads as you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want a whole bunch of them. Three seems to be about enough for me. Um, but uh, you could probably create like five or something and then bind them to whatever you want. So, and then the only other thing that it adds, and this is probably something that will fail when you do the, the patch. If you do the patch and it fails, it's probably because the you've probably added different key bindings to your config file which will change the line numbers and for me I had to go through and add these three lines here manually and this just defines key bindings y u and n to those commands that were associated to the uh, the scratch pads that we defined above and that's literally all the patch does to the main config file I'm assuming it adds something to dwm.c I'm not sure um, I didn't actually look because it, 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 it went through perfectly fine, but that's basically what scratch pads are. And like I said, I love scratch pads now. I mean, I just been playing around with them for now for about an hour and these, have, <laughs> I can see this completely changing the way I do things on DWM mainly because I no longer have to keep a, uh, like oftentimes I'd be working around in my browser and I'd have to have this in monocle mode so that I could also have your know, Ranger open, you know, and then I'd have to switch back and forth between them like this, you know, I no longer have to do that. I can keep myself in tile mode or whatever, uh, whatever layout I'm in and I can just do mod U and I have Ranger there at my fingertips, wherever I want. That's awesome. I mean, it's just completely, completely blows my mind. Uh, and I'm going to be adding scratch pads to every window manager that I switch between. So I'm going to go figure out how to do it in i3. I might make a video on that uh, just because it's so cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm giddy. I learned something new. I also had sugar before I did this video. So that's the reason why I'm a little hyper. Uh, <laughs> but this is cool. It's just so cool. Uh, it's just a short little video. Scratch pads are awesome. Uh and, you know, really, this is just a, you know, it's just a terminal. So you could have any, you could have your uh, i3 config. I mean, say you're in i3, you could have your i3 config, you know, open. If, if you use that all the time, um, you could you, you could have something like vpytop open all the time. And it's just always there. So you, you, you get at it's just always gonna. You always want to just you know look at, look at your system stats. It's always right there. Just easy as can be. That is so cool, so cool. 
anyways, just a quick, just a quick video showing uh, my new obsession. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by leaving a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Even uh, you can do, you can subscribe, um, or you can su support monetarily by going to Patreon.com/slash The Linuxcast. And you can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash linuxcast. Um, I don't really use Facebook, but um, every once in a while you'll you'll find me posting something on there. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Just a real quick video, uh, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.